Okay, hello everybody. This is problem number one from homework set number seven. Let me read you the, the problem. Number one, warm up problems. Part A says a two times 10 to the seven kilogram train applies its brakes with the intent of slowing down at 1.2 meters per second squared rate. What magnitude of force must its brakes provide? So this is actually a very straightforward application of Newton's second law. Sum of forces is equal to mass times acceleration. And looking at the problem, we see that we have a train, we know the mass. The mass is 2.0 times 10 to the 7 kilograms. And then it says that it needs to slow down at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration. Even though it doesn't say acceleration, you can tell by the units and just by what it means to, to slow down. Slow down means you're going to reduce the speed or the velocity. And that means that when you're changing the velocity, you're changing or you're accelerating. So my acceleration is going to be 1.2 meters per second squared. And this is just the magnitude of my acceleration. If I were to draw a picture, maybe here, you can see that the train is at the, uh, this spot at the beginning and then it ends over here when it stops. So it's going at some velocity. Then we're going to need the acceleration of the train to be opposite of its motion. And so if you said that this was a positive direction, then the acceleration of the train would have to be negative. But in this case, we are only really interested in the magnitude of the force. And so from this equation, we're going to get that the magnitudes are related by this equation. Remember, this is a vector equation, but over here, we're just talking about the magnitudes. And so the magnitude of the acceleration and the magnitude of the force that causes that acceleration, they're related by the mass. And so all we got to do to find the force is multiply my acceleration by the mass. 2 times 1.2 is, let me write this out. So we're going to have force is equal to mass 2.0 times 10 to the 7, 1.2 meters per second squared. So 2 times 1.2 is 4 point, sorry, no, not 4, 2.4. And then the 10 times 10, uh, times 10 to the 7 just comes down, kilograms times meters per second squared, that gives you newtons. And this is our force that we need in order to break and stop the train. Okay, for part B, Let's read part B. A woman has a mass of 55 kilograms. What is her weight on Earth and what is her weight on Mars where G is equal to 3.76 meters per second squared? So we've got two situations, one on Earth, one on Mars. And we know that G on Earth, let me do G with a little e, G on Earth is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. G on Mars is going to be what they give us, 3.76 meters per second squared. And in both cases, the mass is going to be the same. Right? You have your certain mass on Earth, you go to, the, to Mars, and your mass is not change. Um, so 55 kilograms. Now, to get the weight, the weight here is a force. And you might remember a formula for this. The weight is equal to the mass times your gravitational acceleration. And this depends on where you are. Usually we use 9.81 because most of the problems are on Earth, but in this case, we use a different number. And this is a special case of F equals MA. There's a reason why we call this a gravitation, or the acceleration due to gravity, because it's the special acceleration that happens when you're talking about the weight or which is the force due to gravity. So this is just the special case of F equals MA when you're talking about weight and acceleration from gravity. So if you want to know the weight, you multiply G times M. And if we do that for Earth, I just write 55, 55 times 9.81 
you get 539, so I'll round that to 540. That's what we have for the answer. Same thing over here on Mars. I can say wait for the Earth and wait for Mars. We'll just multiply 55 by our acceleration on Mars, 3.76, and we have 207. 207 Newtons. And then 210 is what they have in the solutions. So that makes sense also because... Um, if you have two significant figures over here, then you can round it to two significant figures. All right. And that's it.